Hi, so again an ugly looking equation in front of us. How to solve this big task, isn't it? But uh, obviously we have some tools in our disposal. One is, or the most important one is we know how to solve quadratic equation. But uh, does this equation look like if I can use all of them? It It is, it does. Uh, how? Because if you see, if you notice there is a pattern, there is something hidden. So again, mathematics all about observation. And my observation says there is something which is, you know, some some trend is being observed. Now, if I do something about it, then if I use this uh, particular uh, observation, then maybe I can solve this equation. So let us try to first reduce it to some um, simpler looking form. So can I say, let's say y is equal to 3x square minus 4x. If I, if I do this, it will become y plus root y minus 6 is equal to 18. Now it is much simpler than this one, but still there is a third, there's a radical which is creating a trouble. How can I remove radical? So radical, the best way to kill radical is to square it. But let's say if in this form, if I square both sides, what will happen? I will, this will be a plus b form. And then again, there will be a term. If you square this up and open, let's say I'm doing this, if you square this up, you will again end up having a term which will contain this particular radical. Why? Because it will be simply y square plus root of y minus 6 whole square plus 2 times y times root y minus x, isn't it? This is a plus b plus a square plus b square plus 2ab form. But again, this is not getting eliminated here. This root will go, this root will go. But here again, it will come back. So hence, I don't want this. So can I do some trick? The trick is very simple. And that is, if you let this radical stay alone on one side. So hence, let me just take away all this. Yep. So hence, there is no square anything anymore. Now, what do we do? I am doing this. Can I write this equation as, let us keep this under root y minus x isolated. And then what will happen? It will become 18 minus y. Now, if you square, it will help you. Yes. Why? Because now there is no more 2ab term on the left hand side. So let's square. Squaring both sides. Squaring both. Squaring both sides. What will you get, guys? You will get under root y minus 6 squared whole squared is nothing but 18 minus y whole squared, isn't it? Now this will give you some peace. Yes. So here you'll get 18 square minus 2 times 18 times y plus y square, isn't it? Which is nothing but if you write this is and you, you know, keep everything on same side. So hence you'll get 18 square is 324. And then uh, it is uh, how much? 2 minus 36y. And then I'm bringing this y on the right hand side. You'll get minus y, one more minus y. And then minus 6 goes on to this side becomes plus 6 right and then there is y square anyways and now flip everything or take everything on the left hand side you'll get y square now this plus this is minus 37 y and this is 324 plus 6 is 330 isn't it so i can write this as plus uh plus or minus so plus right plus 330 is equal to zero clear so now it is reduced to finding the solution to this equation. So can I split 330? If you see 330 is equal to um, 3 times 10 times 11. Isn't it? 30 times 11. Correct. And I have to reach 37 somehow. So I have to break it into. So it's also, it's nothing but 3 into 3, not 3 into 2 rather. 3 into 2 into 5 into 11. So do I see something? Okay, so 37. How do I reach 37? 22 and 15. 22 and 15 will definitely help. So hence, what I'm saying is 22. is Where is 22? This is 22. And 3 times 5 is 15. So hence it is 22 plus 15 is 37. And 22 into 15 is 330. So that will work. So hence, I'll write y square minus let's say 22y minus 15y plus 330 equals 0 hence 
y common y minus 22 minus 15 common y minus 22 is 0. So hence it is y minus 22 times y minus 15 equals 0. So y is equal to 22 and y is equal to 15. Right? This is what we'll get, but we never wanted y, we wanted x. So what is y by the way? So y was nothing but 3x square minus 4x. If you see here, 3x square minus 4x. So hence again we'll get two equations. 3x square minus 4x is equal to 22 and 3x square minus 4x is equal to 15. Let's solve it. So hence it is 3x square minus 4x minus 22 equals 0 and 3x square minus 4x minus 15 equals 0. Again we'll go by the spreading the middle term. So 3 times 22 is 66 which is also 11 times 6 but 11 times 6 will not give you 4. So 66, let us let me do the rough calculation here. So I'm, what I'm doing is, you'd have guessed by now, 3 times 22 is 66. Now 66 can be written as um, 2 into 3 is 6 into 11, right? Now um, 11 times 6 is 66 and um, what else? 22 times 3. So looks a little ugly here, but let, let us keep trying. So maybe this or rather instead of uh, breaking your head into middle terms and everything what you can do is you can straight away use the quadratic formula so here what will you get you will get x is equal to what will be x equal to minus b that is 4 plus minus under root b square b square is 16 minus 4 square is 16 mm, minus 4 ac so minus 4 into 3 into minus 22 divide by twice of a which is 6 so if you solve it you'll get 4 plus minus under root 16 plus 12 times 22 so it is 16 plus 4 3 is 12 12 times 22 is 24 264 right divided by 6 right which is 4 plus minus under root 280 upon 6 okay now which is nothing but you can take it as 4 plus minus uh, 280 can be written as 4 times 70 yep 4 times 70 and there is no possibility any further reduction so this is 6 so hence it will be 4 plus minus 2 root 70 so you can take this 4 out of the radical sign it will become 6 4 plus minus 2 root 70 upon 6 which is equal to 2 plus minus root 70 upon 6 sorry upon 3 Yes, so this is one set of uh, solution. So this is one set of solution. 2 plus minus root 70 upon 3. Other set can be from here. So how to find out? 3x square minus 4x minus 15. So 3 15. 3 times minus 15 is 45. Which uh, is also 9 times 5 and hence it will work. It will work here. So hence you'll see 3x square can be written as minus 9x plus 5x minus 15 is equal to 0. So you take 3x common, you'll get x minus 3. You take 5 common, you'll get x minus 3 equals 0. So hence it is x minus 3 times 3x plus 5 equals 0. So hence you'll get x is either 3 or x is minus 5 upon 3. Okay, minus 5 upon 3. So these are the four solutions to this equation, guys. x equals to 3, x equals to minus 5 upon 3 and these two. Right? Now this is what, so what is the learning guys, learning is first do not panic and then get exposed to as many different types of equations as possible and you all always learn that if this, if this equation has to be solved, it has to be solved with known methods and what is the only known method so far, so we know only solving quadratic equations and linear equations, so hence all the equations must be thought towards or let's say must be driven towards a form where you can apply your knowledge of quadratic equation or if you know how to solve uh, these equations with some other method you can adopt that but at this level we have the knowledge of quadratic equation we'll try to resolve a given equation in form of quadratic equation 